Welcome everybody. I'm Nancy with Power for Parkinson's and today we're going to do a class that I like to call Find Your Fundamentals. And remember that word fun is in fundamentals, okay? <laughs> Just a little pun there. So this class is designed specifically for those of you who might be just beginning to come to exercise. Also for those of you who have been exercising in the past, but maybe you are coming back from being in the hospital, maybe you've had an illness, maybe you've had a fall or some other injury, and you're needing to take it kind of slow. So we're going to go over some of the basic things that we use, use in our classes and that I like to use in my class. The other thing I will say is that this is a great class for those of you who have been working with us for a long time to kind of reset what is it that's important for me to pay attention to so that I don't forget some of the basics that are really, really important and that will help me progress. So it's also valuable for that. And I will be offering some modifications all during the class. So right now, um, I'm going to ask you to kind of wiggle forward in your chair or walk forward on your sit bones like this so that you're at least halfway forward in the chair. I know that some of you might be in a wheelchair and that might be difficult, but if you can sit up really tall so that your back is a little bit away from the back of the chair, there's some space there. That's going to help with your alignment. So we wanna keep our shoulders over our hips. We wanna place our hands on our thighs. Look down at your feet. Your feet should be at least hip width apart or a little bit more, whatever is comfortable for you. Toes are straight ahead and we're tracking our knees with our toes. So this is our leg alignment and our torso alignment. Alignment really important for injury prevention and also for posture. So as we lift up here, we're going to work on our core muscles and that helps with our balance. So I know we can have a little bit of music right now. So we're gonna start by working on that posture and I want you to take your hands and press against your thighs and see if you can lift your spine up. Maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit more. Now I want you to tell your brain that this is the good place to go to, <laughs> as opposed to this, which we all like to do, yes. So we're gonna try to train our brains, me included, that this is a good place to be. See if you can breathe here. Continue to breathe, continue to feel tall. Feel the chair coming up underneath you and pressing against your sit bones and helping your spine to lift. Keep breathing. And now relax your hands and wrists, but keep your spine tall. Relax your lower arms, your forearms, and let your elbows hang. Relax your upper arms and let your shoulders feel heavy but lift your spine, soften your neck muscles. So we're making a mental note of where our posture should be. Now let's begin by moving our jaw from side to side. Loosen it up, poof your cheeks out, suck your cheeks in, poof your cheeks out again, Suck your cheeks in, wrinkle up your nose, relax it, lift your eyebrows up and down, up and down, up and down. Good, open your eyes really wide and then flutter your eyelids and then relax your face and put on a nice smile. 
So it's important to warm up our face because in Parkinson's, our facial muscles don't get a lot of work sometimes. Um, and so we want to keep that going. That's going to actually help our, our chewing and our swallowing as we continue. And it's really important to keep warming up your face especially in the beginning of class, but you can do it all day long. You can do it in front of a mirror. So here we are sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna drop our arms down by our sides and we're going to begin with some breath work. Now, if you've had a shoulder problem or injury, um, you may not wanna take your arms up as high, but let's begin with a breath. Reach out, breathe in and all the way up. This is a abbreviated sun salutation. And then bring your arms down on your exhale. Relax your shoulders and elbows. Breathe in here. Breathe out, lift and lengthen. So you might be able to come here, but you might wanna bring your arms forward or you might wanna bend your elbows. Not too much because we all have a tendency to be here instead of here. So you wanna to try to lengthen your arms even as you're dropping your shoulders down. Now we're gonna breathe in and then we're gonna go forward and down. Breathe in and exhale, reach forward and down. If you get dizzy, you're not gonna to wanna to go past here. But if you can, touch your toes or ankles. If that doesn't work, shins or knees. And round your head over unless you are dizzy. Breathe in, reach forward and up. And breathe out. Relax those shoulders and elbows. Let's do it again. Big breath in and out. Sitting tall, breathe in here. Breathe out, lift and lengthen. Breathe in, feeling tall. Breathe out, see if you can do what we just did again. Breathe in, reach forward and up. And breathe out. Good, we're gonna do it two more times, a little faster. Big breath in. Breathe out. Breathe in here. Breathe out, lift and see if you can get your spine even taller. Breathe in, breathe out. See if you can go a little further and bring your chin toward your chest as well. Breathe in, reach forward and up. Keep that spine tall, breathe out. Last time, big breath in and out. Breathe in here, breathe out out, lift and lengthen, breathe in, breathe out, go as far as you can now, bring your chin towards your chest if you can, breathe in, reach all the way up, get as tall as you can, and breathe out. Relax your shoulders, relax your elbows, keep lifting your chest and spine. Gently turn your chest, shoulders and head to your right, come back to center, chest, shoulders, and head to your left. Come back to center, chest, shoulders, and head to your right. Come back to center, and chest, shoulders, and head to your left. Come back to center, good, and relax your arms down. So we're gonna start speeding things up a bit, but I did want to say that breathing is really important. In Parkinson's, we have a tendency to get very rigid in our upper body, sometimes in the whole body. So we want to breathe. Breathing is going to help that rigidity in the upper body. It's also going to help get that oxygen to the brain. It's going to help the muscles work properly. It's going to help stretching. It's going to help balance. And it's gonna help our minds focus, especially at the beginning of class. So I always like to start with breathing. If you want a big dose of breathing and stretching, I highly recommend doing Nadine's Rest, Relax and Reset class, which is a wonderful class. So from here now, bring your arms down, sitting tall, lift and let's lift the shoulders up and drop them. Up and drop, up and drop up and drop, up and drop. Single lift, up 
and drop. Up and drop. Up and drop. Up and drop. That drop is really important. Now let's roll the shoulders up pushing back and down. Really watch yourself on this. We always go up and then push back and down. Instead of going the other way, we're going to go up, push back and down, always trying to open that chest. Up, push back and down. One more. Up, push back and down. Then we're going to do a little shimmy. So one shoulder comes forward and the other one comes back and then switch forward and back nice and easy loosen it up all right let's have some laughing shoulders <laughs> good all right hands back to here still sitting tall we're going to work on our neck muscles now so take this easy imagine that you have an imaginary shelf right here you're going to take your head and nod it up and down. Say yes. Come back to the shelf, set your chin on the shelf and say no. Slide that chin across the shelf. So nice smooth swivel action as we're moving our head back and forth. This is really important. Go as far as it's comfortable for you. Good. From here, we're going to lift all the way up, chest stays lifted. Come center. Now keep your chest lifted and look down. And come back to center. Let's do that again. Lift your chest, lift the back of your neck and look up. Come back to center and lift your chest and look down and come back to center. Gentle tilt now, ear toward the shoulder, other side, ear toward the shoulder, ear toward the shoulder, ear toward the shoulder, and come center. So notice that we're working with head, neck, and shoulders. I like to start from the top and work all the way down to the feet. Okay, so right now, we're going to begin with some arm swings. So just easy swings, nice and loose. I like to call these spaghetti noodles that are cooked, <laughs> okay? So the cooked spaghetti noodles are really loose. Now we're gonna do the uncooked spaghetti noodles, which are very long and strong. Make sure you're reaching behind your chair as much as you're reaching in front of your chair. When you're ready, you wanna turn your head toward your back hand. And rest. So that action is really important because when we have Parkinson's, sometimes that arm swing stops and that can cause difficulty in our gait, in our walking. All right, from here, we're gonna open our arms out and rotate the hands and the inside elbows to face the ceiling. And reach for the wall, reach, 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 reach. Did you use your rib cage? Let's do it one more time. Big reach, move that rib cage, move that rib cage. Good, now we're gonna reach for the ceiling. Remember, if you have shoulder issues, you can reach a little bit forward on the diagonal to keep that shoulder down, but reach for the ceiling. Always think of getting that arm as long as you possibly can. Really stretch beyond where you think you are. Really try to touch the ceiling, good. Stay tall, but lean to the side and see if you can touch the floor. This is important because sometimes we need to pick something up off the floor when we're sitting. Yes, like a napkin. <laughs> so reach to the side. That's it, and come back. Now we're gonna take the hands here. We're gonna reach all the way up and we're gonna clasp our hands. Then we're gonna take our pointer fingers up like a pencil and we're going to draw a pencil line across the ceiling. If this is difficult, again, you can bend your elbows, but you wanna keep your spine lifted. 
So lengthen the spine, really stretch. Try to touch the ceiling with every stroke of that pencil. Good, come back to center, relax the shoulders and elbows, come down to here. So here we are again. If you weren't here, again, clasp your fingers together and bring your pointer fingers up. Now you have your little golf pencil and you're going to make a circle. Draw a circle, move your wrists. You can see that I'm moving my wrists a lot and reverse direction. So we want to get that wrist action going because in Parkinson's our wrists get very stiff. Good, and separate, wiggle those fingers, squeeze and open your fingers a couple of times and shake your hands down. Good job. Place your hands here and lean forward and to your right and back in your chair and to your left and again forward and to your right. Make this even bigger, back and to your left. Come forward, we're gonna reverse now, so go to the left and back and right. Make it big, really lean and lean and back and to your right. Come forward and sit tall, sit tall. Press against your thighs again, lift that spine. Very nice, very nice. All right. So we're gonna open our toes and heels. So move those toes and heels and we're now in a straddle position. Lining the knees up with the toes on the diagonal, hands inside of our thighs and we're lifting our chest. We're gonna press open, release. I do this every day, open, release. We're stretching our adductor muscles, release, press, Release, press and stay there. Take a big breath in, exhale. Now tilt your spine as though it were flat like a board. Forward, press your chest forward, lengthen your tailbone down into your chair and pull your head toward the ceiling, but on a diagonal. Feel your toes and heels pressing into the ground. Press your, your legs open using your hands and breathe here. Good, and sit tall, relax your arms, wiggle your shoulders a little bit, toe heel back in, very nice. Hold your chair and open your chest here. Slide one leg forward, toe is up, heel on the ground and bring it in. Other side and bring it in. As we do this, we're trying to straighten our leg and lengthen the back of our leg. That's it. Good, unless you have serious knee issues, I want you to feel your kneecap pulling up toward this muscle, your quadricep. That's it. So you're gonna really lengthen that leg and lengthen that leg, good. Turn out slightly on the diagonal, same thing. Lengthening the leg, lengthening, 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 lengthen, and lengthen. Good, come back in. We're gonna take it off the floor now. So we're going to stretch and place, stretch, and place, push through your heel, push through your heel. Let's try it on the diagonal, still sitting tall, press through the heel, press through the heel, press and lengthen that leg, press and lengthen that leg, good. Right from here, open heels and toes back out into that straddle position and we're going to reach across. So as you reach across, take your right arm, keep this hip where it is instead of lifting up. You wanna keep this hip and this sit bone, that bony protrusion down here. You wanna drop it into the chair and reach and place. Other side, reach and place. Notice I'm not lifting my shoulder. I'm keeping my shoulder relaxed and reaching on the diagonal. Reach 
and place, reach and place, reach and place. So we're crossing our midline. We're crossing our midline, and that's an important action for our brain. Now we're gonna reach and reach, both arms, clasp again, and we're gonna baseball swing. Swing, 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 swing. Open and place. Reach across, clasp, swing, 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 swing. Open, open that chest and place. Beautiful. Toe heel in, sitting tall, hold your chair. Let's speed it up again and lift up and over, up and in, up and over, up and in. If you've taken Polly's class, you know she sometimes likes to lift her leg up over the porcupine, <laughs> okay, or the bunny, or the dog that's in your way, or the cat that's in your way. Yes, so you wanna really lift that leg up, really lift it up high. Even if you're in a wheelchair, try to lift that leg up, even if you only move it a little bit from one side to the other side. Good job. All right, clasp your fingers again. Lift this leg up, drop your shoulders, and relax your elbows. Bring your foot forward, but keep your knee bent. Flex and point your foot. We're working on ankle fluidity. Yes, ankles get very rigid. We just worked on the hips with those up overs. Come back to the flex. Your big toe becomes another pencil and you're going to draw three circles and then reverse it. Still working on that ankle, flexibility, fluidity. Stretch your leg and then let it float down to the floor and slide it in. Let's try the other side. So clasp your fingers under your thigh, lift it up, drop your shoulders, relax your elbows, bring your foot forward, knee bent. Toes are up, down, flex, point up, down, really trying to stretch that ankle, up, down, up, down, one more, up, down, stay up, big toe is your pencil, draw three circles, one, make these slow and big, two, three, and reverse, slow and big, that's it, you got it, good, now push out through your heel, lengthen that leg again, let the leg float down and bring it in. Let's take a breath here. Exhale, good. And now we're gonna just march. So let's pump our arms. And march, 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 march. Five, four, three, two, one. And faster. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And count with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, notice we slowed down. Now you're gonna reach this arm as you step. Eight, seven, six, five. Make sure you're mirroring me. Four, three, two, one. So we're working on opposite arm and leg. We're back into that swing that arm swing with the opposite leg to try to get that walking gait back. All right, hands on our legs, sitting nice and tall. And little jumps, open, close, open, close, open, 
close, open, say it with me, open, close, open, close, open, close. Let's add some arms and open, close, reach and close, reach and close. One more, reach and close and rest. Good job. All right, so now we are going to stand up. I'm gonna give you some options. So don't get up yet because I wanna go over how we get up out of the chair. But if you're having difficulty standing, you might, you might wanna use two chairs, in which case I'll show you that you could have one over here and one over here and hold on to both of them instead of walking around to the back of your chair and holding on to the back. So that's one option. Another is to use a walker in front of you and you will get up and hold the walker in front of you. So if your walker's been over here, you'll wanna bring it over in front of you. The third is if you're in a wheelchair and you are not able to stand or you've had an injury and you don't wanna get out of the chair right now, you can do as much of the arm movements as, as we are doing and try to do as much of the leg movements as well. So right now I want you to open your legs, make sure you're forward in your chair. We are going to take this slowly. So we're going to use our hands on the chair, press down with your heels and your toes, especially your toes. We'll have nose over toes, push and stand, shoulders over hips, clear focus. Let's squat a little bit, reach for the chair and come back down. Now, if you can't get up, but you'd like to work on this, you can always push here halfway and come back down. Or the arms on the wheelchair, push halfway and come down. Let's try it one more time. This time we're gonna stand up. So, nose over toes, toes are down, push to standing, clear focus, shoulders are over the pelvis. And let's see if we can have a nice beat with the music. And we're gonna clap, 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 step. Get the beat into your body. When you're ready, walk around to the back of your chair. If you want two chairs, you would turn one chair this way and put the other one here. Otherwise, hold on to the chair or you have the walker. I'm going to be in back of the chair. We're gonna march. So march, pick up your feet. Tall in your spine, we're marching. We're lifting our knees. Now we're gonna step out, out, in, in. Say it with me, out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in, out, out, in. One more, out, out, in, in. That's for you to practice. Toes are straight ahead, shoulders are still over the pelvis. Bend your knees and straighten. Rise up onto the balls of your feet. Heels are lifted and lower. Keep holding onto the chair. Bend and stretch and rise and lower. And bend and stretch and rise and lower. And bend and stretch and rise and lower. One more time and bend and stretch and rise. Stay up there for a minute. Pull those bellies up, lift your chest, lift your spine, lower your heels. Good job, very nice. Turn your toes out. We're working on strengthening our legs for our gait and for our balance. We're going to shift our weight now. So we're gonna step out, small step out. Bend this leg, keep the other one straight. So this is a side shift, push back to center. A side shift, push back to center. A side shift, 
push back to center, a side shift, push back to center. Two more, a side shift. Don't let go of the chair or the walker. Good job. From here, extend the leg to here, tap that toe. When you're ready, extend the opposite arm, tapping that toe and extending the opposite arm and bring it in. Let's try it on the other side. Extend this leg, tapping the toe. When you're ready, extend the arm. So we're working on opposites, really stretching the fingers and tapping that toe and come in, bend your knees to relax your legs for a minute. Good job. All right. So we're gonna turn our toes back straight ahead and we're gonna open our legs wider, at least as wide as your chair legs. We're going to do a big squat. I'm going to turn my chair on the diagonal so you can see me. I'm here and then I'm gonna stick my derriere out, pull my belly in, bend my knees, and then I'm gonna come back up again. Shoulders come right back over the pelvis, yes? We have a tendency to do this, letting the belly hang, and then when we come up, pushing the shoulders behind our hips. That's gonna throw you off balance, and you're not gonna be working your core muscles. So we want to squat, pull those bellies in, and then lift, get the shoulders right over the pelvis. And again, squat, pull the bellies in, lift, shoulders right over the pelvis. Squat, lift, last time, squat, and lift. Good, that's another one for your homework. All right, step out. Step out, bend your knees. So if you have knee problems, you can bend just a little bit. If you don't, you can bend a little bit more. Just a little shift from side to side with soft knees. Good, straighten up, reach this arm out and up over as though you were going over the rainbow. Really a big side stretch here. Push your legs into the ground, push your feet into the ground. And open out, other side. Big reach up and over. And come down. Good, stand tall. Big bend. Squeeze your buttocks and Kegel muscles as you come up. Bend, squeeze. One more time, bend. Squeeze this time, pull your skinny jeans or your leggings all the way up. Zip your magic zipper if that's your Kegels. <laughs> Flatten your toothpaste tube, that's your core. Squirt that toothpaste right through your spine and out the top of your head and see if you can grow an inch. You can press against the chair to help you. Keep breathing, let go with one arm. Let go with the other arm. We're hoping that the toothpaste has disappeared. Now we're gonna turn ourselves into a star. If you can't balance there, just hold on with one arm and begin to smile and twinkle and glitter and shimmer and shine and reach. Make yourself into the biggest star you can and then take your bow. Good job, bend your knees, toe heel in. Wiggle your hips from side to side. Loosen them up. All right, we're going to walk back around to the front of our chair, or if you need to, back up with your walker so you feel the back of the chair, you feel the chair with the backs of your legs. Squat, we just did the squat. Reach for the chair smoothly land into the chair and bring your feet forward. And we're gonna have just a quick cool down. So reach your arms out, give yourself a big hug. We always need some hugs. Relax your arms down, breathe. 
gentle turn to the right, to the left, come back to center, take an imaginary sweatshirt off, relax the arms down, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in here, breathe out, lift and lengthen, breathe in, Breathe out, go as far as it's comfortable. Bring your chin to your chest. Breathe in, reach all the way up, lift that spine. Breathe out. Good, relax your arms, sit tall, and give yourself a couple of pats on the back for showing up today and doing a great job. So don't forget to find your fundamentals and the fun in it. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll be back again soon. Take care. See you soon. Bye.